Uh, I'm not going to bullshit you. Uh, right now, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. More confused in America after finding out John Krasinski won Sexiest Man Alive. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't even the sexiest man on the office. <laughs> yeah. Y'all let Kevin hit. Yeah. <laughs> And what's confusing me is that for three years, up until last Tuesday, if you asked any Democrat what they thought about Donald Trump, they'd say something like this. Donald Trump said he would be a dictator on day one. No one has ever been more dangerous to this country than Donald Trump. Trump is fascist to the core. I want to be dictator running around trying to punish his enemies. Take what his pro... Look, look, look at his pro... What his ob objective is. It is totally anti-democratic. He says that he wants to be a dictator on day one. He means it. Damn. Joe Biden was on such high alert, he almost opened his eyes for a second there. <laughs> so, the part that's confusing me is, if all that is true, what the hell is this? It was an encounter many thought could never happen. But in front of a roaring fire, the current and future president exhibited warmth. Welcome. Welcome Thank you. Back. Who knew the fall of democracy would seem so cozy? Yeah. It's like seeing Hitler take over Europe in a Snuggie. <laughs> That's not how you beef, trust me. Drake isn't inviting Kendrick to a slumber party anytime soon. Right? <laughs> when you get in a room with someone, even J.D. Vance called Hitler, you don't say, I have your back. You say... I have a Glock. Yeah. 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 And, and look... Look, 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 look. I understand that you have to transfer power peacefully because you're not fascist. But there's nothing in the Constitution that says you have to be nice about it. At least take the opportunity to f with him, all right? <laughs> Swap his Diet Coke with kombucha. <laughs> Change the computer passwords to Eric's birthday so he can't log in. <laughs> Switch the toilet paper in the Oval Office toilet so it hangs under. I don't know, man. Do something, okay? And look, just because I don't want Democrats singing kumbaya with Trump doesn't mean I think they should go all in on trying to take him down. First of all, they already tried that a lot, okay? I don't have the energy for it anymore. Dude got impeached twice. I, I still get PTSD when someone says the words Mueller report. <laughs> but also, and this is an unpopular opinion if you're not a Republican, I want Trump to succeed. Or at least, I don't want him to fail so badly, he takes down the country with him. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. OK? I love America. We got Waffle Houses here, all right? <laughs> and there's still a chance that Donald Trump and his friends won't turn the country into a fascist funhouse. You know who says they won't? Donald Trump and his friends. Donald Trump is not going to rule as a dictator. He's not a dictator. He's not a threat to democracy. He's fun. He's not a fascist. Was Hitler making self-deprecating jokes? No. They accuse me of being a, a Hitler-type guy or a Hitler lover, and I'm not. I'm the opposite. Opposite of Hitler. I don't know what that means unless it's his weird way of telling us he's circumcised. So, <laughs> listen, both sides had their campaign rhetoric. Trump came out on top. And in a few years, we're going to find out who was right and who was wrong. I'm a person who's called him a fascist. I want to be wrong. And maybe we all will be, because don't forget, one thing Trump loves more than anything is being unpredictable. He loves it more than he loves his children. <laughs> okay, bad example. He... <laughs> He loves it more than KFC. And now he has a chance to do something truly unexpected. Don't be a fascist. And maybe you think that's not possible, but you know me, I'm an optimist. I think if I can just talk to Donald Trump directly, I can convince him. So let me try. <laughs> Mr. Trump, sir. <laughs> Mr. Trump, sir, you're a manly man with great hair and the tightest neck pussy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's listening now. Sir, I need to talk to you about your plans. Right now, you can do anything you want. You have both houses of Congress, and thanks to the Supreme Court, you can feed Nancy Pelosi the alligators and call it an official act. <laughs> but that's what all your enemies say you're going to do. And just think about how stupid they'll look if you don't. You know what liberals hate even more than being thrown into a CIA black site? Being wrong. <laughs> You could own the libs so hard just by not being a fascist. 
Not being a fascist is so easy. Look, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> By the way, I'm still doing it. It's simple, okay? You don't even have to do good things for America. Just do nothing. Go golfing, all right? That's right. You love golfing, and you're so good at it, too. We all know he cheats. You know what, Mr. President? Uh, we'll even let you have a little personal corruption as a reward, okay? Just leave the Constitution in one piece, and we'll let you skim a billion or two out of the Medicare budget. It's fine, okay? <laughs> You could literally sit on your ass doing nothing for four years straight, and you'll be considered the greatest president of all time just because you didn't destroy democracy like they said you would. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and listen, Mr. President, if you just destroy the economy, lead us into a recession, I can live with that. That's normal Republican president stuff. <laughs> just... Just keep your big, strong, not tiny hands out of the fascist cookie jar. And maybe, maybe I still think you're gonna do it anyway, but to quote the great philosopher Sabrina Carpenter, please, 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 don't prove I'm right. But that's just my opinion. <laughs>